Hello everybody, welcome back to another Oh, the Mods 8 Hardcore Minecraft playthrough. My name is Joshy GG, and I'm so sorry. I uh, First and foremost, I was terrified because I thought my recording got corrupt in the last video because OBS just decided to be OBS and stopped working. Um, but we're good. So, as you saw in the last video, I'm an idiot, um, and I'm very well aware of that, and I'm expecting a bunch of comments to come through, and I'm really glad I'm doing this on the day of. So, I have moved everything over from this chest into my storage here, and I'm going to tell you guys what all we need real quick. So first and foremost, we need 1,012 basic processors, uh, which means we pretty much need to make a lot of those. But first and foremost, we need 729 1K storage parts. So 729 divided by 64 is roughly about 11 stacks. So we're going to make a bunch of these. It's going to be 64... So let's see, um, 64, there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stacks. So 64 times 11 equals 704. So we have plus 12 equals 716. So now we need 13 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Boom. Okay. So now we have the 729 beautiful 1K storage parts. For the 4K storage parts, we do need the basic processors. So we will need to make 1,012 of them. Guess what? To make 1,012 of these, that is going to be 15.8 stacks. So we'll make 15 and then we'll add in what we need to. But we also have to send these into our furnaces. And we saw what happened last time. So let's go ahead and make our 15 stacks. Let's see, one, two, let's see, we'll just do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so 64 times 15 equals 960 minus 10, 12 equals, we need to make 52 more. So let's make sure I did that right. 960, yep, yeah, 960, yeah. Okay, so how many more did I say we needed? Minus 10, 12 equals 52. And there. Okay. So now we have our ridiculous amount of these bad boys, which means we're going to go into our furnaces in here and do them in here. Um, specifically because I really do not want to deal with them out there and them destroying my network out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a chest. This chest works conveniently. I had one sitting right there. <laughs> we're gonna go into our, uh, into here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to plop this bad boy right there in front. And what that's gonna do is now we will be able to take these two beautiful upgrades here. And now we'll do input. And we'll do that right there. And then you see it keeps it fully stacked. So now we have 36 of those. So, uh, let's see, I need to grab my jetpack and throw it back in the charging port right here. Okay, so this is actually going in and out, cool. Okay, so this will take a little bit of time to do. Um, so we can go back over here for one momento and take a look at what more we're gonna need. So we do have the <laughs> ridiculous amount of 1K storage parts. And how we're gonna do this is we're going to throw these bad boys in here. Um, and we can remove that from our list. So now we no longer need 1K, we need 243 of the 4Ks. So once my advanced storage stuff is done or advanced processors or basic processors or whatever the heck they're called, um, are done. Yeah, the basic processor are done. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and make the improvised processors right now. So let's go ahead and do the Google. Not the Google. <laughs> improvise. Where's. Um. Oh, improved. I don't know why I'm saying improvised. So we're going to need 324 of these bad boys, which is just over five stacks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then 64 times five equals minus 324 equals. We need four more. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And then we can also make the advanced processors. which you can see right here, we have 47 already. So we only need 156 of these. Um, thankfully, we only need 156 of these, um, surprisingly. I'm pretty sure my math is probably gonna be wrong. So 156, I don't actually, I don't actually need to be doing the, uh, um, so let's see, so that's 64. So that's 156, right? Yeah. Minus 47 equals 109. Minus 64 equals 45. Mm. Boom. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go back into our place of uh, wonders over here. And you can see that's pretty much it's making its way and we, we're getting we're getting a decent chunk of these so we're gonna go ahead and grab them and throw them into our uh, storage over here so that we have them readily available whenever we are ready for the excitement so we've made all of our processors so I can go ahead and mark those off the list so now we're just focusing on making these bad boys so pretty much I'm stuck until we finish making these uh, basic processors so <laughs> I guess I can just come in here and take a look, see, and see how they're doing. Um, I mean, they're they're making making waves here, so here and there, so that's good. Um, yeah, but this is pretty much the the general sense of things. Um, like I said in the last video, I don't know if this is something you guys genuinely improve, uh, enjoy, I should say. Um, this is something that I'm going to start working on as well. Uh, the robot and the um, uh, the mining, the digital miner. Um, the teleportation core, I feel like, should be pretty easy. I can pretty much make those two. Now, I know earlier in the uh, series, I wanted to make this, and I was like, oh, I really want to make this because it would be great. But now I have the quarry, and I have a bunch of other resource collection capabilities that I don't really need this stuff. I'm curious about these custom portals. To create a custom portal, place down a single teleporter block. Connect power to the block. Create a block, a portal frame with the teleporter block being the base of the portal. The final product will be a 4 by 3 portal structure with the two blocks in the middle creating the portal. So I assume that what it will end up happening is this right here will we'll be able to teleport to pretty much anywhere we want that has another teleporter. That's cool. So... Interesting. Mechanism is awesome. I, I genuinely love mechanism. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to get into this and this is actually, so I talked a little bit about this in the last video or the video before, I don't remember which one, um, kind of about the power situation, the power struggle I'm in. And I'm thinking I'm going to make another one of those larger, not like the ones that are larger than this. Um, I'm going to make another one of these little compact machines, the maximum compact machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build out a full-on nuclear reactor. I'm going to go through this entire instructional list here and go through pretty much everything to get the most power possible for my entire factory. Because the factory, the idea for the factory is I really want to make the factory be really comfortable and um, I want it to work without me worrying about power overall because I mean if you remember like big thing I was struggling for a very long time to figure out why my power was not recycling and it's because my factory being as active as it was you know pushing a, a lot of quartz through it to get silicon and pushing a lot of sand through it to get glass I want this to to roll s seamlessly I want to be able to have all of these machines running as, as their fastest convenience, specifically so that I can 
well, benefit from it. So what we're going to do now, though, is I'm actually going to grab these shoes right here. Oops. That was really weird. Um, we're going to take a look at the what we get from this. So I do need lapis, which I do have plenty of right here. I'm actually going to do this right here. Um, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, okay. Now we'll throw this in there. This will give a stable booting or stable footing, which I don't know what stable footing is, mana boost five, mana region four and soulbound, or feather falling four and deep depth strider. I'm gonna do stable footing and mana boost, and that's gonna give us fire protection six, stable footing, depth strider five, and mana boost five. Holy moly, that is insane. Now, if you look, that gives us a lot of freaking mana. Like, a lot. And I'm really curious. Let's take a look here. This is this is the same one. The, um, wait, no. Where's the, here we go. This is the, this is the AOE minor one that I'm, um, like, collect, okay. Oops. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a lot of mana, and that's 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 really good. I'm really happy that that we got that. Like this is this is adding a lot of uh, protection to us too, because we have um, the blast protection for the helmet and the respiratory, so I can actually spend more time underwater. Um, we have the protect projectile protection six, as well as vitality and thorns which create some type of benefit for if they hit us we have blast protection six and fire protection six so we really have a lot of protection against well a lot of different types of entities so gas weather etc cetera, etc cetera. like that's that's great i like that let's take a look here doing pretty good she's uh she's making her way Obviously, I can't really do anything yet because I think this one takes improved. <laughs> the 4K is the only one that I'm making that takes advanced, and that's really the only thing I'm waiting on right now. Um, and I can't make any of the other ones, any of the other uh, storage parts without making the 4K ones first, of course. So that's pretty much where we're at. Basically, once we get the um, once we get all the the basic ones out of the way and done with these right here, once we get all of these finished and all of these smelted up and the event the improved ones are working, uh, while these are you know going through their motions, we can actually be creating the 4K ones because again we need 1,000 or we need um, 243 of these bad boys. So, and how I did it was I did the math. So for a 4K, you need one 3K. For a six, for the 16K, you need three 4Ks and nine 1Ks. For the 64K, you need three 16Ks, nine 4Ks, and 27 1Ks. For the 256,000, you need three 64,000s, nine 16,000s, 27 4,000s, and 81 1,000s. For the 1 million 24,000, you need three 256, nine 64, 27 16, 81 4 243 1 and then for the 4 million you need the you know 1 million 24 thousand for um the three or the no sorry three 1 million 24k 9 256k 27 etc 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 all the way down to 729 one case so we have the 729 one case as you can see right here I actually have more than 729. I have 731 because I am an overachiever. <laughs> um, basic processors. And you can actually see basic processors. We have 487 right now. We have 487. How many do we need? 1,012. Yeah, we have 487. We need 1,012. So we can pretty much see what all we have so far. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have 1,012 by then. <laughs> I hope we're going to have 1,012. Right, my numbers are wrong. Math is way off. Um, and you'll see it's probably, I think it's up here somewhere. Um, it'll be either, either the one point something Ks. Right here, 571. So yeah, 
we're pretty we're, we're making we're making moves here and it's just this is all about taking time um this kind of stuff unfortunately takes time and this is oh this is cool you can actually if you right click it with nothing in your hand you can kind of see what in the world? hold on a minute what <laughs> Okay, well, I guess it's only going to show that much. That's fine. Um, I guess the next thing that I really want to do... We have an... Hold on. We have an all the modium sword right here that we don't have an enchantment for, as well as an all the modium pickaxe that we don't have an enchantment for. Let's run over and get some more experience from our mob farm while we wait for the uh, basic processors to finish up. And I want to take a look at something to see if there's a possibility that we have a pretty decent turnout of um oh goodness it's 163,000 <laughs> this can hold up to a million 24,000 experience so right now i'm able to do get a lot of levels just because it's been sitting here for actively running i mean not all of them there's only been a couple that actively run only two that actively run if i'm not mistaken um so keep that in mind Whew. So how you doing? <laughs> this is probably going to get us over. This is this is likely going to get us over. Uh, mm, this will get us over 95. I don't think it'll get us. Maybe get us to 98. Because if we can get a better pickaxe. Because right now the pickaxe we're working with has efficiency 4, silk touch, teleportation, and soulbound. And our sword has knockback 2, frost aspect 2, bane of villagers 5, and sharpness 4. I'm curious if this will... Maybe it'll get us to 99. No? Maybe this will get us to 100. Wow, it will. That's crazy. I did not expect this to get us over 100. But with it having two now that we can see, which is particularly because of one of the... Um, uh, one or two of the... Um, the items that I have, or one or two of the, uh, what's it called, um, shelves that I have, there's one that I think has plus two, I, I don't remember the exact wording for it, but there's plus two, um, it's one of these, I wonder if it would tell me in here, wouldn't it? I assume it's probably i don't know but basically it's giving me plus two uh idea for what is available raiders bane four and leech five raiders bane three in teleportation life stealing i'm gonna do this one looting four raiders bane four leech five severing five smite six and teleportation i don't really care much for the teleportation but it is what it is let's take a look teleportation soulbound <sighs> don't really like those these are not that good. Efficiency 5, Silk Touch is 31. Soulbound Teleportation. Uh, we're going to run that one through the uh, grindstone here. I don't really care for that one. Soulbound and Fortune 6. Boon of the Earth. Ores may be found when mining stone. Fortune 6. Teleportation. Soulbound. Efficiency 7? So, this one actually does less damage than this one does. Probably because of the sharpness. But this one has a lot better enchants. I think this one also has better, has that knockback. Let's send it through the grindstone. We're still over level 90, so we should be fine. We're going to put this one back in here. Frost Aspect 4 and Sweeping Edge 7. It's a little bit better, but it doesn't have that knockback. Um, and I... What was that? Randomly performs powerful attacks and decapitations. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think, I think I'm going to keep this one on me because this one has a little bit more damage and has knockback, but it, uh, see, I don't know because one of the, oops, 
Let me. I mean the sword. Why is it not letting me? Huh. There we go. Um, I have thorns, so I don't really know if it would. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some tests. I'll probably uh, fight the wither a couple times and do an and get an idea for that. Um, we are. Working on the last few basic processors that we have. I do like that we don't have to actually just sit there and wait for it with that. Um, but now you can see right here we have 879. Oh, are we going to have enough? <laughs> no boy, do I? did I actually make enough? That is the question. Oof. I'm doing, I'm doing some quick math here with a calculator, so give me one second. I, say eight. I think we're going to have enough. We might actually have more. I think we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> I, it's just adding 35 four times and then adding or multi yeah, multiplying 34, 35 by four and then adding what was in here. So yeah, I think we're good. But yeah, so this is pretty much where I'm at now. And this is probably a really boring video and I do apologize if it is. I'm not, I don't want this to be boring for you guys, but also I want to be able to finish um, setting up this beautiful, beautiful thing called a 4 million storage part. And I definitely, I need more, I need these, which means I hope I have more improved processors in my, Hopefully I accounted for that. <laughs> I probably did not. And I'm probably going to end up one short, <laughs> knowing my luck. But I have to have a advanced storage housing to be able to fit these. Um, it's going to show you if you go back, if we go back to refined storage. Um, these won't fit in a regular, regular old uh, storage housing group. Um, it should be fine, though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. See, we're, we're almost done. So we're getting closer and that's, that's really good. And I'm between the leveling system, between being able to get ridiculous levels because of the mob farm, even though it's not a very good mob farm, um, it does what it's supposed to with all the mob spawners I have. Um, I could actually make it a lot, like put a lot more mob spawners there. I don't actually need the arrows because I have all of those fans there. Um, I might, do that off recording one day where I remove all of those uh, little arrows and put more mob spawners down in there so I can get more capabilities. But a couple of things to note, I do need more nether stars to be able to set all of the mob spawners up to not work, like not basically run all the time, even when I'm not standing next to it, that'll build the experience up so I can have pretty much unlimited experience um, or infinite experience. I need to set up a filtration system in that chest, in those two chests, so I don't get overwhelmed with random objects and items. And basically, like, the uh, illagers' crossbows can immediately be thrown out. The broken armor can immediately be thrown out. This, like, specific things like that. Um, I will work towards that, and I will kind of build build those up and get those ready so we're pretty much done once this says 20 boom now we're done we're gonna go back here and now we will begin making our 243 4k storage parts so now let's see what do we got where are you at 1047 beautiful okay so we need the 4k so we're gonna need 243 of these it's gonna be just about three and a half stacks one, two, three. Um, let's see. 
minus 243 equals, so we need 51. Hopefully I haven't, I'm pretty sure I should have enough. I should have everything I need. See, I had extras of those. Now we're just waiting on the improved processors to finish. And we're going to need 81 16 Ks. So oops. should be pretty much well, these are this one shouldn't take as long. And I think we have our uh this one's almost this is almost fully charged. So let's take a look at our improved, see if we have any improved processors in here. Uh we have 144 in here, so I think we should be okay. I think that's what's required in this. So, yeah, I think we're okay. Because we're going to need a total of 324. I do not think I rem like took off any that I had already. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see whenever we get to that point. Uh, whenever, whenever we get finished. <laughs> um, eh, you know, it happens. Yeah, should be fine. Let's go take a look at what's um what's processing through our factory right now. Um, looks like we still have gold ore processing, so I'm actually gonna grab this and then do this right here, and then put you back in there, and then organize that. Basically, what I want is I want all the gold ore to finish up. We only start. Okay, remember this seven for the next video because it probably won't be done by the, by the end of this video. Um. I pretty much want to see how many of those I'll have at the end of the day uh, after seven, because I think it's going to be 35. It should be 35 if the processing is done right. Um, so we're basically on our last leg of this, so that's good. Um, I think we'll be okay. I think we have plenty of advanced processors too. Let me go check real quick before I end up jinxing myself. I have 47 advanced and 144 of those. So I'm, I'm fine to make this because I have two. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything will work out exactly how it's supposed to. And by exactly how it's supposed to, I mean, it'll work out to the point to where I have more than I need, which would be, which is perfect. Exactly what I anticipated. So, <laughs> so you may be wondering or asking, Joshy, why didn't you put any of those in there? I could do that now. Why not, right? Let me go throw this glass in here. Oh boy. This is a process. <laughs> Getting all of this stuff set up is definitely um, is definitely interesting. I, I feel like it um, it really is uh, it, it's it's crazy thinking how much material I need just for a singular part. That's not even the most expensive thing to make. This is only right here, which means there are one, two, three, four, five more storage parts above this one that I'm making right now. How insane is that? Like the fact that there are, that you need that much resourcing, which now I know I don't need as much string, as much slime balls and as much, as many quartz as I did to make this one. I'm still going to need more overall because of the fact that I have to make <laughs> like a ridiculous amount more. Like I need three of these to make one of these three of these to make one of these, it just goes on. So that, uh, let's see, that 729 1K is going to turn into, let me see, actually, let me see how much that would cost. For this blue one right here, the 16 million, that's going to cost 2,000 1Ks. For this one, it's going to cost 6,500 for this one. It's going to be 19,000 
This one I assume is going to be almost 3,700, 5,900, 59,000, sorry. And then this one right here, which requires three of these 1048s, these right here are going to require 177,000. Those are just the 1K processors or the 1K storage parts. Wait until you hear that there are more than just one storage part. <laughs> Obviously you knew that, but that's just like, it's just crazy to me that I need that. You're going to, we're going to need that many for this particular, like just for an infinite one. But that's the whole point of the game. It should not be easy. It should not be, you know, a quick little, oh, let's go grab this stuff real quick and then we'll be good. It's, it's going to take time. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be energy driven. We're going to have to do more and I'm perfectly fine with that, honestly. Like, I would much rather go in and be able to grab all the stuff that I need or I, over, like, multiple videos, basically. I could probably just put those in there because those got done a lot quicker than I anticipated them to. <laughs> okay. That should be all of them. That is all of them. So let's go make our um, 8116Ks. So now we just need one stack, uh, and then we'll do this, minus six, four equals, just need 17, one, two, three, four, 17, and then now we make 27 of these. Wait, these take advanced processors. That's right. I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> I forgot. I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't don't mind me. I'll just wait a second. Cuz we don't need that many of these. So, we just need 16 more of these and we'll be fine. But yeah, so that's pretty much the general sense of the things. Like we we just need to continue making parts. Um, but it's crazy though that it took me that long to understand how much how many resources I was going to need for like all of this stuff. This is completely full now. I'm so happy. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Twenty two. All right. We are now done with the forge, or the furnace aspect of it, I should say. Uh, so let me do this, do this. So we just need what, what did I say, 16 more of these? Because I need 27, yeah, 16 more. Okay. And then, what did we just run out of? <laughs> How many of these do we need? For the 256K, we need nine. Now we need three of these. I thought I had enough. Did I not? Did I not have enough? One, two, three, four, five. We'll just make five more. I think it was because, I think, I don't know how I did not realize I did not have enough. Which is fine, this goes quickly, but it's like, how did I not know that I wasn't going to have enough of that? <laughs> that is so disappointing. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Now watch this. Now we come in here, do this right here. Now we have a four million. We come to our disk drive, and then currently at 61%, now at 5%. That's insane. So now that I have those, 
I want to try this out real quick. I want to take this this one out, and I want to take this one out. And where's the other 1K? I only had one 1K? Interesting. And then I'm going to do this. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> what did I just do? That just... What? Where did all my items that were in there go? <laughs> Um, hold on. Allows you to take items and fluids from one disc into another di grid's discs. I wonder if it... Uh... Alright, um... Mm. So, I'm going to write this down. Right here. Two six six seven zero two. I'm gonna take this sixteen k out. We're still only at five percent full. Jeez. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. So I could technically take all of these out and then just do. this and just let all of those move into the 4 million storage disk. Okay, cool. I was just really confused because I thought I could just move the stuff from one disk to another. I don't know what's going on anymore. Let's take a look over here. Let's, uh, I'm going to do that. Get rid of those, get rid of those, and then let that do its thing. Um, so right now, vibranium, where is it at? Didn't I put, didn't I change that out for vibranium? Hold on. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Pay attention, Josh. <laughs> I'm going to leave, I'm going to, I'm going to stay on board with you guys here for a second. Um, I'm going to let this thing do its thing. You can see it's uh, slowly building up. So it's going to take it a little bit. Great. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how many vibranium we got by the end of the uh, by the end of this little seg segment. Um, so a couple of the things that I want to do in future videos, um, I'm actually going to go stand outside in the XP farm so I can try to rebuild my XP back up. Um, I feel like it'd be you know it'd be okay. Everything will everything will work out. How much experience do we have in here? Remember we had a hundred over a hundred thousand. We're up to thirty six thousand. We're going to hide my little bunker here while we talk. So, a couple things. Oh, God, that is loud. <laughs> that is loud. I didn't realize how loud that was going to be. <laughs> um, anyway, it's fine. Whatever. I wanted that to be, I wanted that to be deafening anyway. Um, so, jeez. There needs to be a way where I can... <laughs> anyway, um crazy right like it, i think it's kind of i don't know I'm, i i don't i don't want to stand by that <laughs> that's way too loud but it's also so loud in here everything is so loud <laughs> um it's just well it's it's the other modiums or the vibraniums right there uh this is slowly but surely kind of building in you can see <laughs> all my items are starting to come back in um yeah so this is pretty fun do this anyway um yeah so pretty much there's a lot of things that we still have to do um there's a lot of progression we still need to make uh for one we still have stuff to do in the first mechanism little section here um 
or the first mechanism section, there's a lot of stuff we still have to do. Uh, we need to build some fluid tanks. We need to build more uh, advanced tier, the tier installers, build more chemical tanks. We need to build out some of these optional tasks that we need, um, particularly because I want, I, I'm trying to be a perfectionist here, but I really can't be because of how much there is to do. Number two, all of these, this stuff right here is going to take a significant amount of time to resource gather for as well as build. So I need to figure out if I want to do it in either this, if I want to basically either create a brand new giant or maximum compact machine and do it specifically in there, or if I want to just tear down what I have in this one and build it in there. I'm thinking about creating another one of these, keeping what's in here, because I do like the fact that I have this as a potential backup storage or backup energy plan, just in case my other one fails. Um, of course, uranium is a huge, huge thing that we're going to need a lot of. Um, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll work what we can, how we can, but really for the most part, like I, I genuinely think that that entire setup right there being in a compact machine is going to clean this place up significantly. And again, we're going to need it to be bigger because of the fact that we have these brine tanks back here. Um, doing that will allow me to be able to either utilize this as a backup store or a backup energy solution where I could have a couple of these energy cubes set up um, kind of like along the row right here and then have all of this stuff either all this stuff will be flux powered similar to how this is right here through a different network specific towards one or the other when it comes to the power solution so there's a lot to do here and i'm really interested to see how far we can take it before i honestly kind of get bored of it i really haven't dived into power yet and i feel like this is probably something i should start diving into pretty soon um, as well as create is something that we're definitely going to need to dive into because at the end of the day, our primary goal is creating the ATM star. We still have a long way to go. There's still a lot we have to do. We have to beat the, uh, Chimera Wilden. Um, we have to create a reactor. Um, I need a lot more nether stars. There's just a lot of things that we need to kind of focus on. Really haven't dived uh, delve into evil craft yet or occultism or elemental craft done a little bit in botania and a little bit in R, or uh, quite a bit in ours actually um don't really see a reason to do anything on that so future videos we're going to do stuff here in ad astra where i think my dog's dreaming she's barking <laughs> it's kind of cute um we're going to do a lot hopefully soon in ad astra so we can go to some other uh planets like mars we can go to the moon um, we can go to Venus or Mercury and, and then glacial. So these are the ideas, uh, not ideas per se, but these are things that we are going to work on in the next, in the next coming videos. And then of course, one of the last things we're going to do is blue skies because it's not a requirement for us to build the ATM star. Technically Ad Astra isn't, but I want to build out as much of that as I can because I'm, I'm genuinely excited about the ad astra stuff because being able to go over to another planet i mean in minecraft would be insane so a couple other things that you know a couple other ideas and plans that i'm going to do is i want to do a remodel for my kitchen um i'm obviously going to put this stuff outside because this i don't think this really doesn't need to be inside um the kitchen itself i'm going to remodel out for all of these chests to kind of be a little bit more conveniently placed um likely do some hidden stuff have them connected so that I can actually use them in here. Um, what is this? Have I eaten this shit? I have. Uh, particularly because the more you eat, so you see right here, I do food list size. I've eaten 95 unique foods, but I need to eat 25 more to increase my max health. There's a lot of stuff that we are going to have to do to be able to get those last however many. I mean, I, I think it goes up to like 150 or 100 or like 200 or something ridiculous like that. So... I guess this isn't going to be a quick process because this still has decent amount in there. This is, these are pretty much clearing out though. So we'll, um, I'll let this run and I'll, I'll post in the description how many I'll just in the very bottom of the description, I'll put vibranium and then the num I, why, why do I have to do that? We know it's going to be, um, how many did I say it was at first? It was, tw uh, 
This is why I wrote it down. It was 12, so I mean 12 times 5. I mean, that's pretty much the general census of things. So it's going to be, what, 60? So we should have 60 vibranium, just under a full stack, on top of what we already have in here, which I don't know if vibranium it has. A little bit of it has. Um, the disk manipulation manipulator is working. We have all of our disks being manipulated into this singular disk of this 4 million <laughs> storage disk, which is a lot of space. And we're also going to, we're going to add those other ones back in, but we can always, always take them out and then, uh, build out more storage disks, which the plan is to potentially one of these days get to that infinity, infinite one. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are enjoying these types of videos where I kind of just do nothing, uh, story based, I just do stuff like quest wise, you know, building up storage. I know all of today's videos were strictly storage space type videos. Um, let me know. I, I'd, I'd love to do more of these types of videos where I kind of explain um, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, what I'm building, that kind of stuff. Um, there's still a lot, a lot I want to do. I want to build up that enchantment table or build up that enchantment area a lot better to make it look nicer. Um, and of course, I want to be able to build out a significant amount of stuff that isn't just doing quests or, you know, resource collecting or things like that. Oh, the vibranium's going through. Maybe I can wait a second because it's going through pretty quickly. Yeah, you can see this is the last gold crystal. Uh, yeah, we'll wait a second. This one will be a longer video. We're down to uh, just two more, three more discs that need. This one's going to take the longest. But that's really cool, though. I like it. I like it. So we'll go over... Yeah, we'll, we'll hang out for a second a little bit longer. A um, couple other things to kind of mention is Silent Gear. Haven't really touched this. This is something that I probably should get into pretty soon. Again, not a requirement for the ATM star, though. Um, bounty board. We're almost done with the bounty board, thankfully. Uh, we do have a couple of things like killing the Elder Guardian um, and then defeating the Wilden Chimera. Um, so we'll do those two in a future video. We still have to, you know, beat the rest of the skeletons. Uh, defeat more creepers, defeat more witches, uh, more wither skellies, and that's pretty much the bounty board will be done. Productive bees have not really delved, dove into so really that much. I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not, but it is what it is. Basic, basic power done a little bit in there. Bigger reactors done a little bit in there. Industrial foregoing, you can see here, I haven't done anything in industrial foregoing. And I'm going to need to, to do the wither builder. Um... So I might want to start getting on that. And there's a couple of the things like I have done some stuff like cured rubber and everything, but there is, this is definitely going to be something that I'll need to start working on pretty soon. Thermal series really haven't touched either, but there's no reason for me to do so right now until after I uh, build out the ATM star, cause that's my primary goal. Um, and that's pretty much it for those. I think all the modium I'm pretty much good on. I just gotta, I gotta make these last two ones and then the, uh, the apple and the carrot, which I don't even know what, not yet eaten. What does it taste like? Can I? Let me grab an apple and a carrot. I'm curious. <laughs> I think I got an apple right here. And a carrot. And right here. I think, well, hopefully I have my all the modium nuggets. I think it's only all the modium nuggets. Yeah. grab one two three four let's grab four actually no well, that'll be fine right there we'll do this right here because i'm curious these are unique foods that i haven't eaten yet um, i do get experience for them and i do get a random reward which is a fruit salad and some butter toast which i've eaten both of those we're working it. We're working it. That's empty. Does not look empty. This is pushing vibranium through. You can see the vibranium's coming through right there. So again, we should have 60. If our math is correct. How far along is this? This is on the last two. So the 64K and then this nine, uh, 256K. Beautiful, beautiful. Vibranium shard. So this is, um, 
there's still more vibranium in here, but you can you can see that it's already well over. Um, yeah, so I think we're done here. I'm just gonna go and I'll let you guys know how much vibranium we got by the end of the uh, by the end of the video. So um, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could do better. I'm always open for constructive criticism and I love having conversations with you guys. I do my best to reply to every single comment that you guys post. And also make sure to check the description for our Discord. We do have a Discord that is somewhat quiet, but we would love to have you on board so that we can continue kind of growing it and you know, growing our community. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, because it's a wonderful way of showing support to the community without actually paying anything. And it's free, like I said. So again, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.